This is the fifth GXS video and it covers GXS model selection. The GXS dry screw vacuum pump is ideally suited to all types of industrial vacuum applications, whether in drying, removing of moisture, of solvents, coating applications, a whole range of metallurgical applications including heat treatment and induction melting and so on, automotive industry vacuum applications and even things like space chambers are all suited to the GXS but there's three levels of application purging available LD for light duty, MD for medium duty and for the toughest applications MD plus. The GXS dry screw vacuum pumps have peak pumping speeds of 160, 250, 450 or 750 cubic meters per hour and each can also be fitted with an integrated mechanical vacuum booster. The mechanical boosters available provide displacements of 1,750, 2,600 or 4,200 cubic meters per hour. The available GXS pump and booster combinations are shown here. There are two supply voltage selections available for GXS. High volts, HV versions, are suitable for three-phase power supplies from 380 to 460 volts. Low volts, LV versions, are suitable for three-phase power supplies from 200 to 230 volts. Both HV and LV versions can accept either 50 Hz or 60 Hz power. Pump purge levels should be selected next, according to application. There are three different levels of application purging available on GXS. Light duty, LD. Medium duty, MD. This includes gas ballast, inlet purging on shutdown and an exhaust pressure sensor and MD+. As a general rule for industrial applications, the MD, medium duty version of GXS, is normally the one to choose. For the toughest, dirtiest applications, the MD Plus would be suitable with its DP clean uh, cleaning routine. Or for the very lightest duty, simple applications pumping clean air or maybe some clean freeze drying applications, the LD light duty version would be used. On the MD and MD Plus versions of the larger pumps, the GXS450 and the GXS750, there are two gas ballast connections and you can see them clearly here. Gas ballast 1 goes through this manual control valve and needle valve which is uh, factory set to be fully open to provide by default approximately 64 SLM of uh, gas ballast. For uh, dirtier applications, there is a gas ballast 2 and this goes through a solenoid valve which has a fixed orifice and will deliver an additional 64 SLM of gas ballast where required. Now by default this solenoid valve is switched off, it's not a fitted accessory but you can fit that as an accessory using the PDT and effectively enable it. On smaller GXSs, the, the 160 and the 250, there is only one gas ballast connection and that single connection has both a manual control valve and a solenoid valve in series. And again, the factory default settings will be the manual valve will be fully open and the solenoid valve will be enabled to open every time the pump goes on process. The preferred mounting style can then be chosen. The mounting choices are a rear exhaust outlet with the pump on casters or wheels, also with feet to jack the pump up on, termed RECA, or a side exhaust outlet with the pump on rigid mounting skids, termed SESK. The PDT or pump display terminal is a really useful optional accessory for the GXS and it connects into the GXS either on the front or the back. The PDT fires up and you can see there is a display, uh, various keys and LEDs. The PDT is very useful for actually controlling or operating the pump if you wish, for setting up accessories, for adjusting parameters to customise the GXS to your particular application, for example adjusting the warming up temperature set point, for adjusting when the mechanical booster starts, and for setting how the pump actually stops. The BDT also gives you the full list of the status displays, everything that's going on inside the pump, and any faults can be diagnosed on the display here as well.